Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome to Train Simulator 2022. Today we are in the Class 700, the Armstrong Powerhouse Enhanced version, and we appear to be at the wrong end of the cab. Let's have a look at the briefing. Uh, hello driver, first things first, switch ends. Oh well, okay, uh, they could have done that for me, that's, uh, that's just laziness on their part. Set up the cab when you receive the road, ease into Bellingham Station, where you will reverse to head for Orpington. There's another one going past, ooh. Uh, here are some book times for your run today. Okay, so we've got some uh, got some times. Lovely, lovely. Right, okay, let's get this thing set up. So, uh, tab to pass the signal at danger. Okie dokie. Yeah, lovely. So, uh, yeah, we'll just cancel that off. That alarm is, uh, is it's a button down here that they have to press. I was uh, I was not too sure about this. Do we, uh, do we not have... Ah, okay, fair dues. Right, let's uh, let's tab so we're approved and uh, and we'll just set off. There we go, lovely. And of course we are on DC, so we've got the uh, the UFO style sounds. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm by no means an expert on this, so the the signal at danger is approved, but it is still showing two reds. It says approved. Yep. Are we are we just going for it? Is it not changing? Okay. Well, uh, yeah, hopefully it won't just slam on. So we need to change ends at Bellingham, it says. Um, yep, I can do that. Uh, it's this pri this uh, this pack, there's a link in the description to this pack. What you get for your money, you get an enhanced uh, 700 in both 8 and 12 car formations, new livery, uh, new logos on the side, sorry, old logos, the Southeastern Class 707, and uh, a Southwest Train 707. You also get a 717, which is... Like, outside it looks like a 717, um, but quite frankly there is a better looking version of that on the Alan Thompson Sim website. They, they've actually edited, because uh, what they've done, it don't get me wrong, it's good what they've done. They've, uh, they've done the front, so it's got the door down the middle, but uh, the, the lights are still the same as on the 700, whereas on the Alan Thompson Sim version uh, it's done uh, a little bit better. Uh, so there we go, he's into Bellingham Station where you will reverse. We need to stop here. Uh, if you can all just not board, please, um, that would be very much appreciated because we need to stop here. And uh, yeah, it's not in passenger service. We're empty stock. As this scenario is one of the scenarios that comes with the game. There we go. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. Right, so we'll put it in neutral. Uh, put that into, into full service. Oh, couldn't agree more. Set my key out. Lovely. Right, pop down to the other end. Oh, hang on, I've not put the DRA on. There we go. Right, set the cab up again. Ah, you say I'm good at this shunting malarkey. So this is quite good because what this means... See, I don't know which lights we're meant to have on. I'm going to go with the middle lights. Right, off we go. We've got a signal. Let's uh, let's go for it. We've got a green as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Hopefully, what this does mean. Oh, that's uh, that's uh, that's a nice shot, isn't it? Oh, very nice. I was leaving the station. Lovely. I'm surprised there wasn't some uh, some railway street furniture that got in the way there. So we're heading for uh, for Orpington. It's uh, it's only seven miles away. How on earth is that going to take us half an hour? Orpington at fifteen twenty three. It reckons, um, yeah. I, I'm assuming that we following a stopping service. Is that what it is? There we go. Yeah. So we've got some double yellows already. So this is not going to be a particularly quick run, but we are empty stock. It's saying at this moment in time, it is literally going to take us half an hour. Wow, fair dues. Uh, this is an absolute pleasure to drive in terms of the enhancements. If we have a quick look around the cab, yeah, there's a full list of enhancements found on their website. But if you look, we can now uh, look. Oh, hang on. What's happened there? Self-lap. Why, uh, why are we stopping? Turns out if you press the door open button, uh, it, it stops your train. Can we... Uh, can we... What's happening? Oh, okay, yeah, so we don't press the door open button while we're in traffic, it turns out. <laughs> oh, dear me. But yeah, these buttons are all now functional, which is great. Um, we've got ATO, yeah, doesn't work, doesn't work. AWS does. We've got this in the middle. Um, 
I don't know what that means. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Um, really long unit. Eight. That's obviously what that means. Really long unit. Because it is really long. Uh, these are all... Uh, yeah. That works. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, we've got all this stuff that works now. Cab holder. No. Mid, uh, no. Has a warning. Still doesn't work. Why is that the case? I forgot to check what signal was that, uh, that we just went through. Was it a single yellow? I was too busy focusing on the fact we were slamming on the brakes. Oh dear. This does really... Oh, there we go. We've got a yellow. We'll carry on. <coughs> this is very much just a poodle. Uh, you know, we're not getting up to any high speed running today. There are a couple of scenarios on the workshop um, that... Uh, not the workshop, sorry. The, uh, the powerhouse like workshop. For like the East Coast Main Line, which I think is a really good one that we need to uh, we need to look at visiting. You know, if if you are interested in that, then we'll do more videos on it. Sometimes uh, Train Simulator can be a really unpredictable one. I can do Train Sim videos that do really, really, really well, and then other times I'll do things that I think are going to be quite popular and they're just not. So uh, yeah, if you are interested in uh, seeing more of that, then do make sure you click the like button and uh, leave a comment because yeah, it helps the video do better. Oh, hang on, banner repeater. That's a that's very much the sign of a red signal. So if we can just uh, if we can just get a bit of bit of braking, because otherwise we're going to go through the signal, and that's not what any of us need. There's a lot of whistling going on uh, from this. I mean, I'm assuming they make that noise, but uh, yeah, the the sounds have been completely overhauled. This is absolutely brilliant to drive. Like I say, it's really really nice compared to the stock. Uh, class 700 that you get from Dovetail. Um, see, I wasn't particularly excited for this pack, given that there was the Alan Thompson Sim free pack, but in comparison, it's just head and shoulders above. Um, there, there are a couple of things. I mean, the GSMR doesn't work. I don't understand why a lot of uh, a lot of Armstrong Powerhouse enhancement packs used to have a fully working GSMR. Correct me if I'm wrong. Perhaps I am wrong there, but, you know, like the 150 pack, that all, that all had... Uh, the 319, although I guess they were built from scratch uh, by AP. Uh, but yeah, a lot of these enhancement packs don't have a working GSMR, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, it feels like like the 802, there's a lot of things that were working in previous packs that now aren't. Perhaps that's me that's just a bit cynical. But I mean, I'd say it was well worth the money anyway, just for, you know, if, if you're going to spend a bit of time driving these. Um, oh, hang on. Sounds like something's going past. Let's uh, let's have a, a nice picky of that. Let's have a look. Can we uh, can we pop outside? What's uh, what's going past here? Where are we? Uh, nothing. Oh, there we go. There's a there's a four six five coming. That's obviously why we're uh, why we're sat here. Because let's not forget as well that we are empty coaching stock. So uh, so we are we are literally bottom of the pile here. We're going to be doing a lot of stopping, a lot of starting. Um, yeah, we're, we're just bottom of the pile. Um, all the passenger stuff is far more important than us. Yeah, I have a feeling we could be spending quite a bit of time here sat doing nothing. But never mind, never mind. I don't like empty stock. I've decided this is this is not my uh, this is not my cup of tea. I should really have. Uh, I was going to drive a passenger service scenario, to be honest with you, but um, it did say uh, you're designed to do the empty stock first. Once you've done the empty stock, it's like it follows on, so we probably keep the same unit. Um, so yeah, that's why I did this first. So hopefully, we will actually at some point next week we will do the other scenario where we're actually in uh, in passenger service. I do want to do the one on the East Coast main line though as well because the East Coast is a brilliant line for just the sheer amount of traffic, particularly it showcases the 717 uh, which is included in this pack. That's why I did think the, I, I mean the normally with the Armstrong Powerhouse Enhancement Packs you get three scenarios, don't you? All three are for this uh, Dover Ramsgate London line. I kind of thought they'd either be for the Southwest and... Because, like, all the ones that came with Train Simulator, if, you know, when you bought the 700 pack from Dovetail, they were all for this line as well. I'd, I'd have thought they'd have done the East Coast because then they could have shown off the 700 and the 717. But, you know, it's, it, it is what it is. 
Oh, there's not a lot happening, is there? There's not a lot happening at all. Maybe this south, uh, this, uh, oh, hang on. Oh, our train's moving forward slowly. Oh, I don't like that, that train simulator. Right, uh, are you, are you leaving? There we go, right, yellow signal. Off we go. Uh, there we go. We'll just have the, we'll just go on half power for the time being because we're, we're at a yellow. Yeah, I should really have had that DRA on while we were sat at a red. Uh, any, any good self-respecting driver would do. But, uh, but I'm not a great driver, as it turns out. Wow, one in 35 hill. Crikey. That's, uh, that's quite an incline. Uh, we've also got, uh, in terms of the passenger view, uh, you know, this, this looks nice, doesn't it? But uh, I, I don't know if it's been updated, but I have driven the Southwestern 707, and that does have a Southwest Trains interior. Uh, I think it has been updated, hasn't it? This, this all seems different. It's a while since I've driven the other one. Oh, there's a 700 there going the other way. Give him a little toot. And of course, if we, uh, there we go, we'll just go to 40. I mean, we're still accelerating because we're going downhill, sort of. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the AI traffic has working headlights now. Yay! That's brilliant. I mean, the, the, um, the Alan Thompson, oh, I, Armstrong Power has Alan Thompson, but they're just too similar. Can somebody change their name, please? If, you know, if it's not too much to ask. It does cause me, uh, it does cause me to get very confuddled. Are we, uh, oh, that's our signal. Why am I, uh, why am I still going so fast up to a red? Dear me. Oh, well, I guess there's no passengers on, so it doesn't really matter if you use quite a bit of braking, does it? Yeah, Joe, rather than talking, you really need to be paying attention more to the signals. There we go, we'll put the DRA on. Proper driver now, you see. Making use of the DRA. Ah, we'll stop. Oh! Class 375 going past, lovely. And for some reason the driving coaches on the 375 for me never have any windows in if you look. You see that? There's just no glass in the windows. I don't know why that is. It's a very strange one. There we go. If we, if we pop down you'll see what I mean. So the middle carriages have got the tinted glass in. And then these have just got no glass. Why might that be? Oh, this 465 in front. He's, uh, he's taking his time, isn't he? I think he's going now. He's going to Orpington. We're going to Orpington. So we actually... I, I have absolutely no idea where we are. Are we going away from London? We are. Oh, we are. Right, okay. Fair heck, it's going to take us half an hour to get from there to there. Surely not. And that is, of course, Julie Berry there that uh, that does the announcements for South Eastern, Southern, uh, South West Trains. No, it's not South West Trains. That's Celia Drummond. Uh, London Midland. Yeah, they're, uh, she, she's got a lovely voice to listen to, hasn't she? Uh, very, very nice, Julie Berry. Very posh, very posh, very upmarket. Right, we'll, uh, we'll just go to 30 now because we're on a single yellow. Why is the uh, why is the ground position light lit up? Heck, I mean, there's there's a severe volume of traffic through these stations, isn't there? You don't often realise it. Like, I mean, this is an area of the world that I've not explored. Oh, there you go. No windows, 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 no windows. It's a very, very strange one. Uh, I'm not quite sure why it happens. People have said, oh, just just reinstall the pack. It'll be fine. But it's not fine. I've, I've tried it. it. I just always seem to have no windows. I, I mean, we're, we're at a loss with this issue. There we go. We'll, uh, we'll just ease off a little bit. We'll plot. Plotting is working for us so far. I mean, I can see the red signal from here. We'll, uh, we'll just ease off a little bit. That train will have stopped at Bickley, won't it? So we'll uh, we'll have to come to a stand there and admire the scenery uh, just northwest of Bickley. Oh, 
Oh, let's have a... There we go. See, because we're, uh, we're whizzing the throttle up and down, up and down every verse end, we've not actually had to use the DSD yet, which uh, I did click as activated, did I? Yeah, there we go, isolated active. Uh, I did have it as active, but we've not had to use it yet, really, have we? We may as well just keep rolling. No point rushing, is there? I wonder why our train was abandoned in uh, in the siding. There we go. Is that our four six five down there that we're following? Yes, it is. That's uh, that's really weird that you can see the train in front. I mean, that's a very that's a very London thing, isn't it? It happens quite a bit up near Edinburgh as well. You can uh, you can see the tail lights of the train you're following. Uh, the line that we work between. Uh, Manchester Piccadilly and Manchester Airport, the the signals are quite close together down there as well. And sometimes when you sat in the back of the uh, when they sat in the back cab, you can uh, you can see the headlights of the train behind you. It's a little bit disconcerting. You're like, oh, I really do hope that uh, that that driver doesn't uh, doesn't go sailing through and crash into the back of us. I mean, it's not going to happen, is it? Like realistically, it's just not going to happen. But you you still do kind of look and think, oh, I don't know quite how I feel about being able to see the train behind me. Another 465. They've actually done a, an NRM for train sim. Oh, hang on. AWS is active. And I've missed it. There we go. We're, we're coming to a screeching halt. No. Yeah, uh, I'm impressed with that. I don't know why it's bright pink. But uh, yeah, they've modelled a new bus for the route. Right, there we go. If we could, uh, if we could just come to a... There we go. Right, we're off again. I mean, missing an AWS magnet is quite a serious offence, really, but uh, it's a good job this is on the train sim. There we go, South Eastern. I love the 465. Oh, off he goes. The hell? It wasn't hanging about, worry. There we go, we've got a red signal in front. Unless we're going left, which we're not going left. This is this is a very slow crawl to Orpington, isn't it? I guess this happens when you're empty stock. Yeah, I guess it didn't really matter that we missed the AWS magnet because we still managed to catch that flipping train in front. The sad thing is, is that back there at that junction, they could have put us out and we'd have been absolutely gone. We'd have been, you know, absolutely gone. It wouldn't have caught us at all, would it? And we'd have had time for a big, for uh, for a large cup of tea. Could have had a big breakfast, couldn't we, in Orpington? We couldn't, because looking at the clock, it's 15.02 in the afternoon. Um, but, you know, we could have we could have gone to a local cafe. We could have had a cup of tea. Slice of cake. But no, now we're just stuck in traffic. Unbelievable. These signalers sometimes are not very considerate to the needs of a train driver, are they? Oh, oh, old route master. Yeah, but you know what happened last time you got stuck uh, perving on buses? Look at that! That's brilliant! They've added new buses to this route. Finally, we've not got that uh, that wretched Plaxton President front with a Gemini side and a Gemini 2DL rear. It, uh, yeah, brilliant. You see, I, I really like these. Uh, these pictures are, are just quite nice, aren't they? They're, they're just a nice screenshot. I mean, you know I love a screenshot. I like that how it kind of snakes over the top of the hill. That's lovely. The, the Class 700, as much as I don't, um, I mean, I'm not going to say I don't like them, because, you know, they're, they're very good trains. They're, if, I mean, they're Siemens De Zero, 
and from my experience with Siemens D0 units, they're probably absolutely solid. You know, there's, they'd be, performance-wise, they'd be brilliant because Siemens just seem to make very good products. There we go, we've heard the DSD. It sounds like the guard giving two on the buzzer, doesn't it? Now we'll pop it in neutral so that we don't get the DSD anymore while we're, uh, while we're not paying attention. But yeah, Siemens to Zero is very, very good products. Um, I mean, the the actual oh, hang on, we can we can move we can move passenger view. Wow, they've uh, they've added new passenger views. Oh, that's exciting stuff. Oh, lovely. I mean, we're we're cutting through the seat there, but but yeah. By the by, that is uh, that is one, two, three, three more passenger views than we did have. So that's brilliant. I'm uh, I'm more than happy with that. I didn't realise they'd done that. Sorry, that's uh, no. Calm down now. Calm down. You know the the interior of these is pretty basic, isn't it? I mean, if we if we pop outside, we'll just pop pop down. There we go. Look, they're, they're ironing board seats. They're high capacity units. They do a job. Oh, there's a toilet there. Yeah, way whiz down. They you know they're not luxury trains by any sense. I mean, hell, those seats are a little bit close to the floor, aren't they, actually? I think that's more a dovetail go. Christ! What? what? How low are those seats? You literally sat on the floor. You'd have your knees up to your chest. Oh, dear me. Um, why are we still sat here? Is that, uh, is that 465? Taking the mic. Oh, he is, isn't he? No wonder it's taking so long. Are we waiting for something coming the other way before we cross over, do you think? I think that could be it, um, but yeah, they're uh, they're not luxury trains. They're they're designed to squash as many people in and get them all moved ASAP. Uh, you know, and I, I I like them for that. They they do a good job. They'll be work flipping hard, like the three one nines. They were worked relentlessly by Thameslink. It's a it's not a it's not a cushy job by any stretch of the imagination, is it? You think a one fifty strut two pootling up and down in North Wales. On, uh, on the little branch lines. That is a cushy job compared to what these 700s have to do. But uh, yeah, I, I do think they're a very, very good looking train. No? Do you not agree? Do you agree? We'll have to have that comment battle. Uh, yeah. Have that battle it out in the comments. 700s, yay, nay. What do we think? Uh, I'm, I'm all for them. I think they're nice. The 707s look a bit weird. They look a bit short. The, the Southwest Trains variants, they're only five carriage, they just look a bit dinky in comparison. And I think, do the 717s, are they six car? I think they are six, aren't they? Green Route Master going over the top, or NRM, sorry. Right, I'm, we're, we're getting out of our cab here. There we go, we're... We're, we're hopping down. We're, we're checking that everything's fine. Careful not to touch that third rail. We're off for a, a very quick, very quick wander. 60. I see that's yellow. So we're we going straight on here then. Down here. That's red. There's a scenario. There's, there's no trains anywhere. Request to pass signal at danger approved. It didn't say we had to do that. Right, off we go. So the points are set for us to go straight on, actually, aren't they? Because it's 50 to the right. Right, okay. I'm a little bit like, I'm not really sure, like, I... You know when you just feel like the scenario is not going to work? I, the the fact it didn't tell me about that particular signal does kind of leave me a bit worried. Oh, we're going right and down here, right? That's a hell. Train's bumping about a bit, isn't it? I can cope with that. There we go. Oh, let's have a... Ah, lovely. Right, I'm with you. Yeah, okay, so it's a broken signal. Is it a broken signal? I don't know, to be honest with you. It could just be that at that signal on an empty stock, you would have to ask. No, I mean, that's that. No, that's that's just ridiculous, Joe. No, it's probably just a broken train sim signal. 
or something with the scenario needs sorting out. I don't know. Problem is, is sometimes when you pass these signals at danger, you come around the corner and end up having a crash or your, your train derails. Uh, we're hoping that doesn't happen today. Hoping that doesn't happen. It's going really well, actually, so far, isn't it? So fingers crossed we'll have no derailments. Now, we don't know what the next signal is, so we need to treat it that this is red. I mean, it's probably green after the amount of time we've sat fannying around down at that signal. It is! Right, off we go. Full power. No messing about. Heck, even that corner feels a little bit quick for 50. Or 50 seems a little bit quick for that corner anyway. Seize off a bit. There we go. Right up to 70. We're, uh, we're rocking it. And of course, being the third rail, uh, being operated on third rail today, we don't accelerate as fast as if we were accelerating under wires. Uh, fizzy knitting, AC. Oh, for goodness sake. Have we caught that train already? No, it's probably to do with the fact we're going into a siding or uh, or a station, aren't we? Oh no, up into platform five. There we go. Another three seven five going past. Hello to you, my colleague from another operator. I tell you those seven seven oh sevens are half going to look weird in that southeastern livery. Yeah, it's southeastern, isn't it? They're going to look I mean, they do look really weird. They, they've kind of slapped the yellow bar or the yellow front across. Like they've just looked at the front of the 717, 707, and just put a yellow square across the front of it. It's, you know, <coughs> excuse me. Like this follows the panels, doesn't it? And it, it looks quite nice. But theirs is just, it's just a yellow square across the front. It's very, very weird. Oh, we can't pass the signal. Is that 465 still causing us, uh, oh, he's there, look, he's there. Are we waiting for a train to come out, maybe? There we go, pop our, uh, our trusty DRA on, so we don't accidentally get a fit of excitement and go through the signal. Oh. So where's platform 5? Let's have a note. Oh, it's busy at Orpington today. Is that, is that where we're going? Nope, oh, no, that's platform eight. Gotta love dovetail. Is that a four six five slicing through the platform? I see. Yes, it is. Right, so eight seven six five. This is platform five. That flipping four six five still in this platform. Oh no, hang on. The one we were following, we're going to Orpington, so that could be it. That's coming back out there. He's off, look. He's not hanging about. He's off to uh, to Cannon Street. I, I find it fascinating down here, you know, the... Uh, oh, hang on, DSD's on. Or DVD, even. Yeah, I, I find down this neck of the woods absolutely fascinating with the amount of services they've got going on. Just, you know, and it's all places you've never heard of. I mean, you've probably heard of them if you're from down this neck of the woods. But yeah, there's just so many. And they're huge trains, aren't they? I mean, like, the eight car, eight car, eight car, another eight car. Oh, four car, they'll be squashed in on that. Come on, why are you not going? This is, you know, we, we want to come in this platform. What time is he due out? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. He's got a green signal, so he must be out soon. 1434 Charing Cross to Seven Oaks. Oh, he's going. Oh, he's moving. There we go. And we, uh, yeah, he's just slowly leaving. I mean, this is uh, this is not so much train simulator. This is uh, sat behind class four six five simulator. Of which case, we're doing a brilliant job of uh, you know simulating that. 
Right, there we go. Should we just absolutely floor it into, uh, yeah, we can go to 70 here. We'll absolutely throttle it into platform 5 because we're, uh, we're in a rush now. Ready to start our service back towards London. I don't know which London station it goes back to, but it goes back to London. Probably uh, Blackfriars, I would imagine. <coughs> right, well, there we go. That is the Armstrong Powerhouse Class 700 Enhancement Pack. What do you think to that, then? I personally quite like it. Let me know if you bought it. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm always interested uh, to hear other people's experiences. Uh, if you have enjoyed today's video, please do click the like button. It helps the video do better, and uh, and that makes for a happy Joe. If you want to see more trends and stuff, then uh, then liking the videos is the way to go about it. Uh, do of course, if you've enjoyed the video today, subscribe because, uh, like I say, I think we're going to come and operate that service back to London. And uh, I'd hate for you to miss it, absolutely hate for you to miss it. So make sure you subscribe uh, so you don't miss out on any of that. Other than that, as I say, thank you so much for watching today and hopefully I shall see you all next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.